Prepare for the second one, which I just changed last night, and I got ahead of myself. I could see my phone bypassed Asia earlier on. And was told to. He, he didn't choose that. So did the uh, conversion of the Gentiles that were predominant there, did that happen just pretty fast or what? It happened in probably... For sure, there was a time period of about four years from the time when <clears throat> on the third missionary journey until now, until 59, <clears throat> that they would have heard this. Now, it wasn't going to be like the, hey, did you hear that, uh, what's that comedian that you're going to see? Tim Hawkins? Hey, did you hear that Tim Hawkins is uh, uh, coming to Cedar Rapids? It isn't that kind of news. When, when the Jews in Asia would have heard about, about uh, um, let's see if I can get back to my map. When the Jews of Asia would have heard the, wait a minute, the, the, the 2,000 year old, almost 3,000 year old faith that we have, now you're saying it's, the Gentiles can have it too? It would have spread like wildfire, even though Tim Hawkins is wildfire. Um, it would have spread like wildfire to, to, to this area. So four years, is, three, four years is, not, is a lot of time for this to be talked about. Six months might not have been very long. But when it says that all, all of Asia, both Jews and Greeks, had heard uh, back there in, in, in Acts 19.10, I think it was. I get some verses mixed up. But anyway, so I don't think that, that uh, um, it was a... Most of the Gentiles heard about it. Most of the Jews heard about it. They all heard about it, and, and it took a few years. But, yep. So his, his second journey, he was told to avoid it. Yep. Yeah, second journey. This, this map is showing third, this, okay. this red. Well, in yeah. his second journey, he... I have another Awesome, map. yeah. We studied this less than a year ago. But his second journey, he was in Troas, which is that north um, west yep. part. Yep. So he went up. He, he was in Troas on his way over to... On the Macedonia Achaia, and then he came back That's to right. Ephesus, Miletus, Rhodes, which is all yeah. part of Asia. Yeah. He technically well. didn't come back well. through uh, uh, Ephesus, but 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 you're right in the fact that he was at uh, Miletus, he's right here, and then he sent people to go get the elders of Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. And that's when they accused him. They said, "Hey, we know that you had the, the Trophimus, and he, we saw him in a well." They supposed that they did. I don't know that they ever did see. Uh, he he might have taken him, but they were making. It. But yeah, exactly. So so he Paul was like right around in here. He was in Antioch of Pisidia, thereabouts, um, at Lystra, Derby, and then they and then the Holy Ghost said, "Uh uh, don't go here." So he's got a choice: go land this way. Not that'd be bumpy. Uh, there's big mountain ranges here. So they're like, eh, "Go up and go around." But you're right, Troas. And Troas was where he left his coat. And remember that, and and the books, and he left uh, the. But especially um, the parchments. Especially the parchments. Those were the other books. But yeah, great that you have the the. Uh, the, the different travels of Paul, because that's, that's fantastic. And remember uh, uh, Paul where he said, you, uh, where, I, uh, where I have gone, you will see me no more. Where I go, he only went three times. He only goed, or he only goned three times. And so the first, second, and then this, of course, being the third. But yeah. Okay. Um, let's switch over to, I think that was 30 minutes. I mean, that's... It's long, but it's not too long. I've been 